Chief Minister of Meghalaya on Thursday has asked the people of the state to change their mindset of depending on reservation in every aspect. Speaking at the International Day of the World's Indigenous People organized by the Northeast Indigenous Peoples Forum, Meghalaya chapter, the Chief Minister said the day tribal people stop depending on the reservation and compete on world level will be the day Northeast will change. And yet maybe the most simplest change that we can make in anybody or anywhere is the change in the mindset. My late father used to tell me and tell many other youths, especially youths of the Northeast, especially the tribal youths. He said the day the mindset of the youth of Northeast will start changing, that is when the Northeast will start changing. The day the youth of the Northeast, and especially the tribal community, stop expecting, please mark my words, stop except, expecting that there will be reservation for them in everything they do, and that everything should come easy to them. The day the youth change that mindset, that is the day the Northeast will start moving forward and changing. And he was a huge advocate of this. He said, he said, Conrad, and a youth need to look beyond reservation. It's not about whether reservation is needed or not, or whether it should be given taken away. That's not the debate. But the mindset should be that of telling yourself that I'm going to be competing with the rest of the world. And I don't need reservation to compete. I will compete at whatever level with the capacity that God has blessed me with. We need to be proud of who we are. I love the way my friend Lame just sung that beautiful song. He said for three generations they have been singing this song. A song that was written by his uncle. And his grandmother and others in the family have written songs which they have been passing on to generations and generations. Proud of who they are. It starts with simple things like these. And if we are coming here for this meeting, just because we are here to participate in this so-called very fancy word called indigenous people, well, I think you're making a big mistake. You need to realize and feel and really be passionate about what the real, the real purpose here is. And as I said, it starts with number one, having an identity, being proud of that identity, and ensuring that while you have that pride and be proud of it, you do not take things for granted, and you do not tell yourself that, oh, because I'm an indigenous person and because we are from a kind of a tribal community, so you know, things will be much easier for us, we have to get reservation. This mindset must change. And let me tell you, I was, I can't remember, one of the speakers was speaking, but I was just listening, I can't remember the name. But they mentioned that apart from the fact that we keep fighting, and we're always arguing, and debating with government of Meghalaya, government of India, the rest of the ministers, political leaders, you have to remember what is it that you can do for yourself and for your people. There's a lot that we can do on our own. And sometimes, just because we keep fighting with the political leadership, we don't even realize what are the things that we can do at our own level and change things for us. You know, I, I really am a big, big believer that uh, it starts with yourself. It starts with what you want to do. Everything else will follow. You take that first step. If you really believe in something, if you say that the rights of the indigenous people must be protected, but start working for it. Start doing something for it. It's not just about having a political fight with somebody. No. It starts with small things that you do. It starts with being proud of what you are. 